Hey guys, it's Lindsay at the blog Repurpose and Upcycle, and today I want to go over with you how I'm going to lime wash or use liming wax to lighten a coffee table. This is a really old Ethan Allen coffee table that had been stained dark and had lots of varnish on it. I've already stripped it once. Um, so I've stripped probably the polyurethane or the varnish layer and probably one layer of stain. So this was previously stained fairly dark and so my purpose in using the liming wash is just to lighten the wood and I'm going to show you how I did it. You can see here this is where I've already applied the lime wash and here I have not. So I'm going to show you how I achieved this look and today I'm using Amy Howard's Liming Wax. A couple of the materials I've used are some lint-free old rags. I have some gloves. Um, the Liming Wax, of course. And I have a chip brush. And I'm going to show you how I lime wash it. Okay guys, so first I want to show you how to apply the liming wax. First thing I do is put on some gloves. This stuff can get kind of messy. And then I just take a lint-free rag and I just dabble it in there. And then you just start applying it on the wood. A couple different pointers always go with the wood grain. You don't ever want to go against the wood grain. The real purpose of liming wax is to sit in the open grain. And what I mean by open grain is where you can actually see the grain. And the purpose is for it to go in the grain and to give it, to give it like a highlight, to highlight the grain so you can wipe it clean and all you can see is the white or the lighter color of the liming wax in the grain. And I'll show you what I mean. So here, this is just an old piece of pine, but what I've done is I've gone over this with one layer of liming wax. And if you look really closely, you can see the little white pieces in the, or the little white specks in the grain of the pine. Now this works best on wood like oak that really does have an open grain. And in order to get this sort of finish, the wood has to be completely unfinished and sanded a little so the grain is fairly open. Now this table has a pretty heavy stain on it and the stain has seeped pretty far into the wood and the stain is dark. So I'm not gonna be able to get the liming wax in the grain. So my purpose for using the liming wax today is just to lighten the color of the wood. I'm really trying to get rid of the red undertones. I don't want that red or that pink. I'm looking more for a, like a whitewashed, lime washed finish. So what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of going back and forth with the grain. And then when I've applied it, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna wipe it off. Some people say to leave it a little bit and let it harden so then you can buff it off. But I really just want to lighten the overall color. I'm not looking to create a real white finish. I'm looking just to lighten. So I'm going back fairly quickly and just removing the top layer just so it lightens the wood but it doesn't leave white streaks. And after I've done this, I'm gonna to go to each square and you can tell the difference. This is a little bit lighter than this. Quick note, you can see the difference here to here. And I applied the finish heavier on the legs because I really wanted to pull out that whitewash feel. On the drawers and on the top, I'm gonna to do just more or less just a, just lighten it up a little and not so much highlighting it. But on the legs, I really wanted to highlight the spindles, so I put it on a little bit heavier. 
I'm going to show you how I did that. Just grab some wax and then just heavily and don't worry about putting a huge gob on there just you can always go back and wipe it up and on the spindle legs it's hard to go with the grain so don't worry about that as much just rub it on there and then take your rag and wipe it off Trying to get in the grooves, really pull the red tones out of there, lighten it up. So one thing I wondered with the liming wax was what was the difference between a liming wax and a white wax? And as far as I can tell, the liming wax is really meant to uh, fully go over the wood, like go into um, the wood grain, whereas a white wax or just a regular, like a dark wax, is meant to highlight the molding. That's as far as I can tell. If y'all know any different, feel free to let me know because that's one question I've always been curious about. So when you're done, you can go back and take just a clean cloth and just rub over it again to just buff it out because it is like a wax and it will provide a little bit of a protection on it like a regular top paint wax would. You can also take a chip brush and highlight certain areas if you want. If you want to get that a little highlight, get that a little highlight kind of like you would with a regular wax. 